Hello, everybody. I am back. I just do as I'm instructed. I just do as I'm instructed. I just do as I'm instructed. I was just told now a few minutes ago that a lot of people don't know how to receive love. And I'm one of them. You know how like when somebody is just being like so kind to you and just being so nice to you and you start to question it because of the things that you've been through. You start to question it because of the things that you've been through. And that's just what I want to encourage us with today. And I'm just going to go ahead and invite people. Um, but um, I'm not going to keep you. It's just, it's just to remind you that you got to learn how to receive love. Like you just have to receive it. You just have to receive it. Because you are lovable. You are lovable. Don't take it. And don't just, just try to dissect it. When it comes to you, like, just know, hey, I deserve love. And I am lovable. Please go ahead and click share. And I'm just going to go ahead and invite people now. This is just going to be like a worship and a prayer and just asking God to help us receive the love that he's giving us. And like I said, a lot of people don't know how to receive love. Like a lot of people don't like don't know how to take things at face value. Please go ahead and click share. Um, it's just going to be a sh very short moment um, right now. It's just asking God to help you to receive, to just receive love. You know, like receive it. A lot of people are so used to dysfunction. A lot of people are so used to dysfunction that when love is coming their way, they do everything they can to sabotage it. You know, you are deserving of love. And I am so sorry for the things that you have been through that have told you that you are not deserving, but you are deserving of love. Excuse me that my face is all up in here. I'm just trying to invite people up close like this. I'm so sorry. But please, as you're joining me now, please go ahead and click share. Please do not eat alone. We are just going to worship God and we're just going to be reminded um, that we need to receive love, his love and the love of the people that he has set to us. A lot of people are pushing people away. We are pushing our miracle away. We are pushing our miracle away because we don't know how to receive love because we don't feel lovable. Some of us have gone through so many childhood wounds and just so much dysfunction just turbulent marriages and crazy jobs and crazy bosses. And we've been in a lot of situations that have made us believe that we are not lovable. And so when love comes our way, we push it away. Please go ahead and click share because that's what we're just going to address today. I came to tell you that you are worthy of love because you are love. You were made out of love. You were made out of love. God created you and God is love and you deserve love. You deserve love. You deserve love. I am so sorry for how your husband treated you. I'm sorry for how your wife treated you. I'm sorry for how the society treated you. I'm sorry for the dysfunction that you've had to endure. But you deserve love. And I'm just obeying God. God told me to play this song. And just say, Father God, help me to receive your love. Help me to receive your love. Help me. Help me to receive your love. Help me to receive your love, God. Help me to receive your love. Oh, Lord. Your tenderness. Melting all of my bitterness. Oh, Lord. I receive your love. Go ahead and click share. Go ahead and click share. We are receiving the love of God. Say, God, help me to receive your love. Help me to receive it. I know you love me, but help me to receive it. Help me to receive it, God. Some of your marriages are suffering because you don't know how to receive the love that your spouse is trying to give you. Some of you don't have friends because you don't know how to receive love. Oh Lord, I receive your love. I receive your love. Oh Lord, I receive your love. Ask God to help you 
receive his love. they treated you you are not how they treated you you are not how they disrespected you you are not how they kicked you you are not how they duped you no you're not no you are not you are not those painful years no you have learned ask God to take away the bitterness Ask God to take away the bitterness because you got to leave room. You have to leave room for a miracle. And there is so much bitterness. There is a woman I'm looking at right here. And I see that your heart is like a stone. I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let the love of God shower everybody who's watching me here today. Everyone who's watching me here today, God, shower your love on them. Let them feel it, God, like rain. Let them feel it like rain, God. Let them feel it like rain. Let them feel your love like rain. Let them feel it like rain. receive your love Jesus I receive your love God I receive your love God I receive your love God just say father I receive your love I receive it from my children I receive it from my spouse I receive it at work I receive it on the streets I receive it from the trees I receive it all around me God because you you show me every day just how good you are thank you Jesus help me receive help me receive help me teach me to stop doubting people Teach me to stop doubting people. Teach me to stop doubting people. Teach me to stop assuming that there is something wrong. Teach me, God, to know that I am worthy of love. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of love. Receive God's love. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of love. Thank you, God. 
Thank you, God. A lot of people don't know how to receive love. A lot of people don't know how to receive love. When it comes to them, they do everything they can to sabotage it. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. May God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. May God give you grace and may he give you peace. But did you read that? God, our Father. He is your Father. And a Father gives love. So don't worry about all that you've been through. You have a father. You have a father. You have a father. You have a father. Asia Ross. Asia Ross, you have a father. Asia Ross, you have a father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a door to open for you. With your music, with your children, a door will open for you in the name of Jesus. Father, let the love, the love, the love that you have for her, God. Father, let her see the love, God. Let her see the love, God. Let her see the love, God. Everybody who is watching me here today, I want you to know that love, God, God has been sending you love in so many ways, through so many different people, through so many mediums. And we keep pushing them away. We keep pushing them away. But this time, somebody say this time. This time, I will recognize that it's God's love and I will not push it away. I will not strangle it. I will not squeeze it. I will not sabotage it. I will not lie on it. I will not cheat on it. I will not beat it. I will receive that love. In the name of Jesus. Ezra chapter 3 verse 11. He is so good. His faithful love for Israel endures forever. Ezra chapter 3 verse 11. He is so good. His faithful love for Israel. Or for Israel. Endures forever. Forever. Somebody say forever. 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 Asia Ross. I don't know why I keep coming back to Asia Ross. Asia, when I started this um, particular segment, this should be my fourth segment today. The Holy Spirit said, type Asia Ross. Asia Ross. Asia Ross, love is coming your way. Not only does God love you, but love is coming your way. Love that is pure. Love that is un unadulterated. You understand love that is unfiltered, just raw, pure love. Love is coming your way. Love is coming your way. Somebody write that down. Love is coming my way. Love is coming my way. Love is coming my way. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Don't be dejected and sad for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You better rejoice. Because love is all around you. Love, not only is love all around you, love is in you. It's in you. Start praying for the manifestation of love, but most of all, pray that when you see it, you recognize it and you don't mess it up. <laughs> okay? One more verse. One more scripture. One more scripture. Don't mess it up. Don't mess up the love that God has given to you now. Don't mess up those children. Don't mess up that spouse. Don't mess up that job. Don't mess up that contract now. Don't mess up that money. Don't mess up that miracle. Don't mess it up. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 20. Don't, look, don't mess it up. I'm hearing it. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. God has prepared a table for you. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. He has shown you how much he loves you. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Don't question it. Don't rebuke it. Don't strangle it. Don't kill it. Don't mess it up. 
You asked for love and he gave it to you. You asked for love and he brought it to you. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 26. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. He died for you. What, like, how much more can he prove that he loves you? How much more? One more. Esther 8 verse 16. The Jews were filled with joy and gladness and were honored everywhere. You will be honored everywhere. Everywhere. This is my fourth Facebook Live today. And this one, this particular one, is just to encourage you to receive love. Don't question it. Don't mock it. Don't laugh at it. Don't ignore it. But most of all, don't think that you're not worthy of it because you are. As a matter of fact, that like that's why the love is coming your way in the first place. That's why. You are love. We're going to play that song one more time and just ask God to help you receive the love that he has for you. There is love there already. You just got to receive it. Asia Ross, love is coming your way. Shamika, love is there. Dr. Karen, love is there and I love you. Asia Love is there. Affinity, love is there. You are worthy of love. Mr. Samuel, you are worthy of love. Mrs. Asmao, you are worthy of love. Shamika, you're worthy of love. You're worthy of love. Oh, love. Changing my, my worthiness, oh Lord, I receive your love. Come on, thank him for his love, oh Lord, I receive your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all so much for watching. Please go ahead and click share. Let somebody know that they are loved. Let somebody know that they are loved. And remember that you are loved.
Remember to sign up for my classes, okay? God bless you.